Hello guys, welcome to my channel. This is the 42nd tutorial in this course. In this tutorial, we are going to talk about file handling in Python. And uh, we learn to create a file object, create a text file, and then write some text to it, and then uh, save the text. And we'll also see how we can read text from a text file using the read method, right? So the first thing that we have to do is create a file object, and we do that using the open function in Python, right? So I have a script file here. I have uh, you know given it the name files, and I've saved it on my desktop, as you can see here. And uh, you know, as I said, we have to first create an object. So I'm going to call mine. Uh, my obj which is supposed to be a short form for my object and then I'll use the assignment operator and the open function and uh, within the parentheses for the open function I will have to pass in two arguments right and uh, the first one has to be the name of the text file that I wish to open so if you open a text file in the right mode then if the file doesn't exist then python creates it for you right so at the moment i don't have any text file on my desktop so i'm going to create one using python and uh, i'll call it test and the extension here is important right so i'll need to put in txt here uh, because i want python to know that what i wish to open is a text file and as a as a second argument to this function i'll pass in w and this is supposed to be the mode in which you want to access this file Right, and in this tutorial, we'll check out two other modes in which you can access text files the read and the append mode. But uh, for the time being, we just want to create a text file and put some text in it, so that's why I'm going to access it in the write mode. Right, on the next line, I'll make a call to the write method by first typing in the name of the object that I've just created. So I'll type in my obj, follow that up with a dot, and then type in write. Right, and within parentheses, I'll uh, you know, I can type in you know, whatever text I want to put in the file, right? So I'll get in triple quotes because I know that I'm going to span my input over multiple lines. So, you know, I'll just type in something random like this is so cool. And then on the next line, I'll uh, get in something like now I can create text files using Python, right? I'll get an exclamation and uh, then I'll follow uh, the exclamation symbol with three uh, double quotation marks again because you know I have three uh, double quotes at the beginning so I'll have to match that up and uh, then on the next line I'll have to make a call to the close method and this is important I'll tell you why in just a bit so I'll type in my obj dot close and you know the reason why this is important is because in Python if you just open a file and if you perform some operations on it and if you don't make a call to the close method then your changes are not saved right so as long as i don't make a call to the close method this text won't be saved in the file you know the file will be created but the text won't be flushed to it so that's why you have to always close uh, your object if you perform write operation or append operation or something you know so that the changes are saved in the file and i'll save this and uh, you know i'll show you guys that i don't have any text file on my desktop at the moment right so you can be sure of that and i simply press f5 to execute this i don't see any message in the shell but now if i'll go to my desktop i'll see that i have a test file here right and it's a text file of course and when i double click on it the file gets opened in my text editor notepad plus plus and i see the you know the text whatever text i placed uh, in the file i see it here this is so cool now i can create text files using python right the next thing that we're going to do is i'm going to copy this code but this time i'm going to try to you know save something else so i'll press control c control v and uh, i'll open the text file again uh, in the right mode but i'm going to save a uh, different text right so i'll save something like um, let's see where this text goes so now if you guys are wondering what's going to happen you know what should happen is this uh, text should be saved in the file and then uh, you know since we've opened the file again and we performed another write operation then you know this text should follow the other text but let's see what happens you know let's see what python does i'll execute the file and uh, i'll go to my desktop and open the test file again and uh, do you want to reload it of course i just see the you know new text i just see let's see where this text goes i don't see the older text and that's because you know the new text has replaced the other text so you know this text has been overwritten and if you want to avoid this all you'll have to do is 
you know, you'll have to change the mode in which you access the file the second time to append instead of write, right? So in this way, we are instructing Python that this text is supposed to be appended to the end of the file and it's not supposed to replace the content that's already there. And I save the file and when I execute it now, again, I don't see any message. I'll go to my desktop and I'll open this text file and I'll reload it. And this time I see that I get the text that I saved initially, this is so cool. Now I can create text files using Python and I also see the other text appended to this file. Let's see where this text goes, right? So now we've discussed two modes in which we can access text files. I'm going to discuss another one and that's the uh, read mode. And uh, for that, what I'll do is I'll get rid of all of this or maybe I'll keep one uh, close call and um, I'll change the mode of this text file to read, right? And, uh, you know, since we've already created a text file, I don't have to, you know, have the write operation or the append operation in my file anymore in my program that is. So to read contents from a text file, we have to make a call to the read method, right? And, uh, what I'll do is I'll save the content of the text file that we've just created in a variable and I'll call that text, right? So I'll type in text and then the assignment operator and then the name of the object with which we've been working, which is my OBJ, follow that up with a dot, and then read, right? With a set of empty parentheses, I'll save the file. And uh, let's also, you know, have the print function and display the text, right? So I'll simply type in print and within parentheses, the name of the variable, which is text, I'll save the file again and execute it. And this time I see that in the output window in the shell, I see all the contents that I stored in the text file text.txt, right? So it's as simple as that. And trust me, I have worked with lots of languages with the, you know, uh, PHP with the, you know, C and uh, Python and shell scripting. And in Python file handling is like, you know, really, really, really simple and very cool. And, uh, you know, maybe it's, you know, just as convenient as it is in shell scripting, but you know, as compared to some other languages like C and all, you know, it's, it's very simple and you'll have, uh, you know, a great time working with files in Python. And in the next tutorial, we are going to check out how we can rename files and delete files using Python. And, uh, you know, I hope you guys had fun watching this tutorial. You may subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I'm going to see you in the next video till then take care.